I saw you crazy use in electric already. Oh, uh, yeah, correct. <laughs> My aircon 24 hours. Last time, ah, uh, in the day, <laughs> of the day, day ayo, what for? Yeah, right, enjoy life, ma. Yeah, enjoy life. So Ling, what is the most stupid thing you have heard people say certain things about solar that is just absolutely wrong one? It's about radiation. So there was this one customer that told us solar is very bad for the health to install on my roof. Not just that it will give me radiation. When the rain drop on the solar panel, drop onto my floor, it will damage my floor also. <laughs> right. So for solar panels, it's basically like your cables, your normal wiring. So you're saying that the phone radiation is going to be way much more severe lah. It's higher, but it's also not dangerous. That's why we are using them. I thought today's customer was the most interesting one because my dad was concerned about feng shui. So you cut me in half. Bro. We are not a feng shui expert, but if the customer feels that there's something they wish to change, we'll try our best to complete. Will solar panels actually explode or get on fire? They will get on fire if installation is not done right. Solar panels, they generate electricity. Many people thought it's by heat, but actually it's by sunlight. How frequent do I need to actually go and maintain all this? Because, you know, if it's hazy, then it's going to be dusty a little bit, right? So for cleaning of panels for residential houses, we recommend three years once. So solar panels, does the brand actually matter as much? Uh? The brand definitely matters. Normally, solar panels, they give a very long warranty. But how many companies can last for 30 years? So we have to choose companies with a strong financial background and then they are listed in the tier 1 list by Bloomberg. We are only using tier 1 panels and inverters. You see, there's a lot of so-called installers that just get from China and then they just do on their own, right? They don't really follow the entire process correctly, right? It's not easy to do this kind of thing because we have to get authority approval from SEDA. We have to have uh, TMB approval. If you install without informing them, everything you export to TMB, they count as import. So your bill will double. So having a approved service provider is very important. Do you want to learn more? Eh? Eastern technology?